Okay, in this example we're going to look at question 12. Um, by all means press pause and try the first part and then just play the video and see if you get the same answer, right? So please press pause and try it and then I'll do it. Um, so I'm going to do it now. So um, you're 34 years old now. You plan to retire at age 65. You want to have a monthly income of 3200 from a fixed term annuity when you retire. That's it, like a pension fund, right? Take the term of the annuity to be 23 years and assume an APR of 3.9% compounded monthly. How large will your nest egg have to be at retirement to guarantee the income described above? So, um, what are we looking for here? What, what do we need to find? We need to find how large the nest egg needs to be, right? And um, we want some. We we want to have what? We want to have a monthly income of thirty two hundred from this retirement scheme, thirty two hundred annuity. So, looking at the formulas, which one are we going to use? Any idea? What are we looking for again? It says, how large will your nest egg have to be, right? So we need the nest egg needed formula, right? And we plug in the annuity yield goal. In other words, we want to get to 3200 a month. So we plug that in here, right? So this is the formula. So we're going to use R and T, of course. Um, so in any case, okay, so nest egg needed. equals 3200 and then it's times and R is the APR is 3.9 percent which is 0 0.039 right and to get the monthly interest rate you've got to divide that by 12 and what does that give you so you should have got Um, 0 0.00325 and for 1 plus R that means you would have what? You should have got 1.00325 and then for T what T did you get? So T, the time here is part of what we want. We want to get $3200 for 23 years and then we guess we'll die after that, right? or whatever, right? So the 23 years is part of what we want. It's part of the goal here. And that's the T we use. That's the time we use. 23 years times 12 gives what? 276, right? So we want 276 payments of $3,200. And so we have to figure out, well, how much money are we going to have to save to make that happen, right? So it's annuity yield goal times 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 over r times 1 plus r to the power of t. So 1.003. Okay, so I hope you've pressed pause and tried this. Your formula should look like this. Okay, it's the nest egg needed formula, which is the, uh, the annuity yield goal times this, which is, this is 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 over r times 1 plus r to the power of t. So if you haven't got that, press pause and fix it. Okay, and now after, and then please calculate the top and bottom. Press pause and calculate top and bottom. Okay, I hope you did that. You should have gotten, um, this should be the top and this is the bottom 4635.747961 and the bottom is 0 0.00795812 and then when we divide round round to the nearest cent press pause and divide that and round it to the nearest cent what do you get? so you should have got 582.513.44 or even closer be 47 but you know to the near, if, if you're close enough, I mean, if you got 40 something, that's that's fine, or 50 even, or 30, you know. So, um, to nearest, as, as long as it's 513 here, that, that's if it's close to the nearest dollar, that, that'll do, right? 
So, what monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement, right? So, press pause, and what I want you to think about really is what okay what formula are we going to need is the first thing is, is the first step right what formula do we need for this it says what what monthly deposits are required does that give you a, a hint as to what formula you will need out of these formulas So this one will give you the balance after T deposits. This gives you the monthly annuity yield. This gives you the monthly payment on the loan. This one gives deposit needed. See that? And the question was, what monthly deposits are required or needed, right? So don't you think this would work? Deposit needed, right? So to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement, isn't this interesting? What does that mean? What monthly deposits are required while working to achieve the desired monthly yield at retirement? The monthly yield at retirement is what? It's going to be 3200 per month, right? That's the monthly yield, right? So what monthly deposits are required? We, we need to know while working. So how much money do you put into a bank every month and earn interest on it so that when you retire you'll get 3200 a month uh, from your pension fund, right? Any idea? Well, we've just calculated that if we want to get 3200 a month when we retired we'll need to save up this amount of money while we're working, right? This is the nest egg that we have to save and the way to save that is to put it money into the bank every month while you're working right saving for retirement so this nest egg is 582,000 right so this is what our goal is so really the question is what monthly deposits are required for working to achieve 582,513 dollars 44 cents right that's the question we need to achieve this nest egg does that make sense? We need to achieve that. We need to save for it. So it's this formula and the goal is that big lump sum, right? So the, the formula is deposit needed equals the goal 5825134 or 47 or 40 something. Whatever, if, if you're close to, if, you're, it's, if it's 40 something, you're close enough. And um, times R, right? But for this question, what is R and what is T? Press pause and figure out what R and T are. Are they the same? Let's start with R. All we're given in the question is take the term of the annuity to be 23 years and assume an APR of 3.9%. That is the only percentage rate we're given. So you're supposed to assume that this 3.9% applies to, uh, that's the percentage interest you get while you're working, and it's the percentage interest you get while you're retired, okay? So this is always the percentage interest. So it's like the average percentage interest over many, many decades. All the decades you work and all the decades that you retired, okay? So again, it's 0 0.039 over 12, which as we know is 0 0.00325. So it's the same amount. R is the, it's the same monthly interest rate, okay, uh, while you're saving your money. This is while we're, while we're working, while we're saving. Now, so this formula, deposit needed, gives the goal times R over this thing, and there's a T in there. And the T, you see, represents number of monthly deposits. How many monthly deposits are we going to have to make, are we going to make, while we're trying to get this 582,000 goal? How many monthly deposits are we going to make? Deposit means putting money in, right? So we're talking about putting money in while we're working. So how many of those are we going to do? Well, let me ask you this, how many years are you going to be working? 
You're going to be working for 23 years? No, that's the term of the annuity. That's the number of years you're going to be retired. You're going to be retired for 23 years. You're going to be retired for 23 years. But you're 34 now and you plan to retire at age 65. So what we do is we take 65 and subtract 34 and we get 31 years working. Does that make sense? We're thinking about saving from now on. So you're going to save for 31 years while you're working, right? So the T, the amount of deposits we make is the 31 years and then 12 every year because it's every month we make a deposit, right? <coughs> so 31 times 12 which is Uh, 372, isn't it? Right? So we have our R, we have our T, what could go wrong? Press pause and calculate the formula and see what you get. So your formula should look like this, okay? With T being 372, not 276. You've got a different T, right? So press pause and calculate the top and bottom. And then calculate the answer. Okay, so I hope you've done that. Your top should look like this. 1893.168675. The bottom of your fraction should be 2.34357174. Okay, so if you divide, you get... You should get approximately $807.81, right? So um, the the point is we're going to deposit eight hundred and seven dollars eighty one every month for for um, thirty one years while we're working, and we'll save up a nest egg of this. This is our nest egg, okay? And that will give us that will give us um, thirty two hundred dollars each month. Um, for 23 years, okay? While we're retired. So, and once again, it looks great because, um, sheesh, only 800 bucks a month for 31 years, and for 23 years retired, I get like four times that? It's, it sounds like magic. And, and I mean, okay, 31 years working, 23 years retired. I mean, it's not that different. So why are we getting four times as much? Because of the magic that is worked by the interest. The interest is helping us all the time. We're constantly earning interest. Every We keep putting money into this savings account. It keeps earning interest. It earns interest all the time, right? And we keep adding to it, right? And then, when we have this nest egg, we take out money bit by bit, bit by bit. But whatever's left in there, like after 20 years retired and after 15 years, when you're 70 years old, when you're 75 years old, um, there's still lots of money in the nest egg, and that's still earning interest. And that's why we can, that, that's why this magic is created, where you only put 800 bucks in while you're working, you get 3,200 back while you're retired. But what's the problem? There's only one catch to this. The one catch is that inflation is usually more, and sometimes a lot more, than the percentage you get on your savings. So even though you're getting more money, the prices of everything is shooting up anyway. So basically old money for, from when you're working is worth more. You can buy more stuff with this than you can with this money anyway. And so inflation kind of uh, takes away the... Um, the the really um, the the magic of of the in, of the savings interest a lot of the time.